Um, yeah, for we... sure. Yeah, I think we have to take it one game at a time, and every game we have to try to raise that uh, level a little bit. As far as Pac-12 play kind of goes, these freshmen, they've not dealt with a, a Pac-12 road trip yet. I mean, is there a conversation that kind of happens with them, or is that something that you really need to just sort of experience for yourself before you know what it really is? I think there's an expectation there, and they realize that for sure. Um, they've seen us play, and they've all played on big stages before as well, and so I think they know what to expect, and it is something that you do have to experience for yourself and get acclimated to, but I, we have faith that they're uh, going to be able to bring it and perform just as well as they do at home. What's the tape kind of showed you on Arizona and Arizona State so far this year? Um, they're both going to be really good competition. Um, I think we know that from here on out, every team that we play is going to be really great competition. Um, I think we're going to have to bring it on both ends of the floor. Right now we're focusing on ASU um, to start off the weekend, and um, we'll be prepared. Yeah. There's a lot of years, though, on this road trip recently when ASU really commanded your attention. Mm -hmm. But given the way Arizona's playing, too, is it truly feel like a road trip where both opponents are going to have to command your, your respect and your attention? Yeah, for sure. I think we know that. Um, we're going to have to spend uh, today and tomorrow preparing for ASU and solely focusing on them and then um, use the short amount of time between games to prepare just as much for Arizona. So it is going to be a challenge for us both mentally and physically this weekend. I know you're just focused obviously on these this week's team, specifically ASU first, but mm -hmm. when you kind of see on this schedule what these next few weeks are, how much of, of a preparation is that for what March will be like for you guys? Um, I think it's great preparation for us, um, especially having to prepare for teams with that one day window in between games and when you have two tough games Friday, Sunday, and you have just one day to prepare for someone who was just as good, if not better, than the Friday game. Um, it's very similar to NCAA tournament, and so I think that just playing in the Pac-12 is great preparation for the NCAA tournament, yeah. How much has Arizona State kind of just changed from last year? They, you know, they got Robbie Ryan and a couple others back, but when you lose someone like Kiana, I mean, that makes a pretty big difference for them. I mean, what, what's sort of been the biggest difference that you've seen as far as how they play this year? Um, I think losing a scorer like that is, is going to change the dynamic of any team, um, and it's going to change um, the way that we defend for sure. Um, I think the biggest thing for us thinking about ASU is – um, trying to prepare for a team where you know they have so many different players, they sub so many players, and they play a lot more. They have a lot more depth than most of the teams that we play. Um, so I think defensively, we're going to have to focus on um, honing down on many different types of players, and um, the scoring is going to be very spread out for them. And practices felt at all different this year compared to last, whereas last year. You're pulling the guys in, you know, you're only six or seven deep in general. Now you can kind of run fives with, with full teams on both sides. How much different is that now that you're in Pac-12 play? Um, it's a lot different, and it's great. I think it's it's good for us to be able to play uh, just against each other in practice. Um, um, it gives people the chance to get a lot more reps in, and um, it challenges us. It kind of creates this competitive atmosphere, too, that I think is going to end up making all of us individually a little bit better um, as the year goes on.